Hey y'all, this is Debbie. I am really happy to be here and it's been a minute. So join me and post. It would be great to hear from you and know that you're out there. I am a visibility media strategist and I'm gonna be talking about something that includes visibility. I'm rolling out a new project right now. So I'm looking for 25 authors who would like to become transformational best-selling authors in 2019. <clears throat> this is a guarantee. So tell you a little bit about what I'm creating and you can see off to the side, the URL to register is there. So that's where you definitely wanna go if you wanna sign up. And I also wanna take this time to teach a little bit. So anybody who wants to write, and especially, it's, it's a good subject for this particular anthology. I wanna talk about fear. F-E-A-R for sure. And good to see you people. Um, thanks for joining. So, you know, fear isn't just in life. Fear is in a lot of things, including telling your story. And I feel, I feel passionate. I feel compelled. I feel like this is something I'm really proud and interested to do. With that said, the anthology is called Hashtag Me Too. And I am looking for men and women who have experienced harassment or violence or uh, massively inappropriate behavior or a bias, inequality based on their gender. And I can tell you that this is going to be an upbeat book. Yes, there will be stories shared, and this is a safe place for people to finally have a voice. And this is also very much about inspiration or wisdom. So if you're somebody who this book would fit, definitely go to debbyd.net slash anthology. And again, you'll see the URL there. Uh, it's an amazing package. Hi, Dolores. Good to see you. Hi, Julie. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> It's always fun to see people out there. So this is about finding your voice. It's an inspiring book of sharing stories, paths change, and wisdom gain. For anybody who wants to be a published author and not have to write an entire book, this is definitely for you. It's amazing to me. Once, like a year and a half ago, I just really started studying anthologies to try to understand them. What's the deal with anthologies? And what I found is there's this huge readership. There's a lot of people who commute. They're on shuttle buses, they're on buses, buses. Uh, they take some kind of transportation. There are people who just prefer to read a chapter and put it down and go to sleep at night. But there's a big readership for anthologies out there, which is a theme-based book. And people love to buy into theme-based books. So this one is going to be hashtag me too. And if you'd like to become a best-selling published author, this is my wheelhouse. It's what I do. I help people to write their books. I'm a coach. I also have a company that takes books to a guaranteed bestseller. And I train people how to be interviewed and where to be interviewed so you get great results. With hashtag me too, <laughs> the compilation anthology, the bottom line is, do you have a story that needs to be told? A story that can help and empower others. It's interesting, I had a conversation with a woman about this, and she's interested. Uh, this won't be typical for everybody, but in her case it was, and because of her circumstances, she said, is it okay if I write the chapter and I'm anonymous? I don't put my name, you bet. I think actually that makes an enormous statement. And although I'm not looking for 25 anonymous authors, uh, not even half of the book I'd like to be like that, but I do think in particular circumstances, very understandably, where um, there is still potential violence if somebody knew that um, an author wrote or maybe taking somebody to court kind of thing. So, you know, people are still out there doing bad things. And, um, she still wants to tell her story. So that was a hell yes for me. And so I'll be looking at you know who's coming aboard and, and what your interest is and why and what kind of story you have to tell. And once the chapters are full and full and all set, the book is closed, we're moving forward. It is about tales from survivors, those who have experienced sexual harassment, sexual assault or violence. 
It's and or inequality based on sex or gender. Men and women, safe space for survivors of sexual violence to end sexual harassment by sharing healing stories and give a voice to your experience. You are not alone. My superpower is definitely visibility through books and media. So if you desire to write a chapter in a successful compilation and you want help to go from author to published, debbyd.net slash anthology, I've helped hundreds of authors thus far write and make their book a success. And the program completion success is 100%. I finished uh, an anthology last year. We published it in December. And um, I have some amazing testimonies from people who didn't expect the experience to be quite so freaking awesome. But man, it's me. <laughs> and if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to deliver. I am going to deliver. And I love people to have a really big experience. So I'll tell you right now, this isn't just about you writing a chapter. There's going to be a lot more that's included. Go to the website to find out, but I will give you a little glimpse. It's also going to include a book video trailer. It's going to include a global press release. It's going to include that the authors are interviewed on three podcasts. They'll be featured in a magazine. It's going to include marketing copy, a guaranteed international best-selling launch, and strategy call with me. Those were amazing last year. People got pretty close. And uh, yeah, so I want to tell everybody, of course, what to expect in this experience and also to help people understand how to write. I'm going to teach writing so they can use that if they choose to do a book going forward for their own book. And here's the great news. If you are compelled to join, and you want to contribute a chapter to hashtag me too, but you don't want to write, don't worry. I've got a team who will interview you and we will transcribe your words for your chapter. We've got an editor, proofreader. We design the, the book cover. The authors get to choose between book covers. It's, it's a pretty yummy experience. So I'd love to have you join if this is your thing. And uh, I do want to share some, some stuff about writing for those of you who are authors or who might be interested in doing something like this. I love you too, Julie. <laughs> so nice to have you here. Yeah, so fear. Fear is really interesting, right? And I, I will tell you, as somebody who is a book writing coach, fear comes up for people. Did you know that out of 100% of people who want to write a book, 85% never will? That's a big statistic. It's a true statistic. And out of the 15% who are remaining, there are those who are going to start their book with the best of intentions, and they are never going to finish it. These are some of my clients <laughs> come on board. And the reason is people don't know what they don't know. They're not sure where they're headed, not sure what to do with the book after. And also they lose their mojo. Something doesn't quite complete in their space for them to finish their book. And it's really frustrating. What I know about people in both camps, the 85% never going to write that book, but er, they want to. And the other percent, out of the 15, let's call it 8%, who start writing their book and never finish it, it is incomplete. And that is the worst feeling, right? That's one of those you don't want to go to the grave with that regret. If you've got a book in you, if something inspired you to write, if you've got a story to tell, it's yours to tell. So I can help get you there. And let's talk a little bit about fear if you are if you're an author or want to be an author, because fear is so important. So I'm talking a little bit about how uh, fear can typically get in your way, and I want to address that even more in book writing. But I'm also going to tell you how fear is amazing. It's amazing, people. Fear is a miracle. It's a miracle, for sure, because fear actually helps your writing. So I'm going to show you, teach you, talk about all of that. and. Um, yeah, so for some people with fear, it's the imposter syndrome, right? The imposter syndrome is where somebody, usually very accomplished people with many credentials, are deeply afraid that they might suck. 
right? That they're basically a failure, that um, even though they have achieved all of this, eh, you know, they don't look at it like that. I actually spoke to somebody just like that today. Oh my goodness, I don't want to say too much because I, I'm always concerned people might be watching, but this is somebody who's achieved massive things in the entertainment world. Massive. Like things we probably all would like to be achieving and still talked about that. Like it just wasn't quite enough. Wow. So at any level, this can affect people, the imposter syndrome. And uh, it's not saying that they're frauds. They're actually not frauds. It's just a thought, right? Uh, a limitation thought. And it's far from it because actually with the imposter syndrome, they feel this way despite clear evidence of their competence. And almost no matter what any of us on the outside say to them, like, hey, that's 